And Singhal at New Year has been defined at one exact spot in the sky, when the sun exactly goes to that spot every year and passes that spot, the new year starts. So they are not on trying to keep uh, on equatoria uh, on the keeping the equinox at some point. They have selected a spot in the ecliptic, and when the sun actually crosses that point, uh, so they use a sidereal year, not a tropical year. And because of that, uh, single new year actually drifts. So I'm sure you, some of you all remember many years ago when we were small, the single new year was 12th and 13th or 12th and 13th of April. Now 70 years or so later, the single new year is 13th and 14th. You will never find a single new year on the 12th, and that is because it is drifting so, uh, one day every 70 years. And that, I wonder what will happen once it drifts a few more days forward. So that is the spot in the sky, uh, spot in the sky, which is actually in this case, when it is crossed, is considered the new year, even though the spot is called the first point of Aries. So if you go back a couple of cen uh, centuries, uh, 335 years to the time that Knox published uh, the historical relations of Ceylon, you find a reference there where he mentions that the new year is celebrated on the 27th and the 28th or the 29th of uh, March. This was uh, published in England, so it is clearly on the Julian calendar. And so if you go back to uh, sorry, uh, on the Julian calendar, and if you actually work out uh, on the Gregorian calendar, it is the 8th of April. So on the Julian calendar, it was that lost 10 days you have to con consider when considering that date. And then you can ask the question, when was the singular new year exactly where it should be, which is on March 21st, which is the equinox? And I worked, did the computations, and very interestingly, I got this date 282 CE. And very interestingly, when you look up the Mahavansa and the books, 282 CE is King Mahasena's coronation. So I assume he defined the single and and that's what we are following even today. That's a bit of astroarchaeology, which I think has not been published previously.